Hey, hey, how you guys doing? All right, let's do the uh, usual sound checks. Check, check, check. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Let me know if you can hear me clearly. Um, I assume you can see me clearly. So yeah, just give me a quick sound check. Sound is good. Just need one person to tell me. Sound is good. Uh, yeah, so welcome to the stream. It has been a little while. I've been super busy and also a little bit of vacation, I suppose. So there you go. Yeah, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Stefan, and I am sometimes known as Uncle Steph, or the 169-year-old developer. So, what I try to do here is uh, give you uh, a little perspective on the whole game since I've been doing this since the 90s. All right, sound and video are 10 on 10. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, guys, how are you? So, let me just jump into the subject. And then we will do a little bit of Q&A. So, uh, yeah. Why do I believe that web design and web development are about to boom? Because of the pandemic, uh, people have gotten used to the idea of working from home, number one. Uh, people have also noticed that uh, job security was a bit of an illusion, right? where when the pandemic hit, uh, people were laid off very quickly. And we already see that trend where a lot of people are starting to think about, hmm, maybe instead of working for a hair salon, maybe I should just do my own uh, services. Instead of uh, working for whatever company, maybe I should just spin up my own uh, iteration of that kind of business, if you will, and just go after clients on my own. And this has already started. Uh, you hear it all over North America. I don't know about Europe, but I imagine the same thing there. Uh, people are having a hard time finding employees. Employees are saying, why should I go back to work? What's going on here? So a certain percentage of these people are realizing that they, they, that they can work from home and that they could perhaps start a business. And people are also realizing that if you're going to start a business, you need to have a website. Yada, 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 Bob's your uncle, you know what you got. You got a huge demand for web design, web development related services. So let me address that in a second. Mm. So when I'm talking about web design and web related services, I'm talking not just traditional web design, HTML, CSS, a little, a little JavaScript. It goes way beyond that these days. One, one of the trends since the very beginning uh, since 1994. I'm one of the very first web designers, period, in the world. 94, I wrote my first website. I'm one of the very first freelance uh, web designers, developers ever, period. 1994, I did my first contract as a web designer for a legal firm. It was either 94 or early, early 95. So I don't, I don't know the exact date, but you get the idea. Um, so the trend since that time has been the evolution of the technology and how and where, let me, let me restate that, the trend from the beginning has been the evolution of the technology where the process got easier and easier and easier, where your job as a web professional, web designer, web developer, etc., has shifted a little bit over time, um, making uh, which was once hard to do, easy to do, but what happens is that the bar gets raised. I'll give you an example. In the old days, just laying out a simple website could be a very big challenge. Well, it was a challenge because you had Netscape, you had Internet Explorer, and it wouldn't play nice, so you'd have to design completely for Netscape, and then you had to design completely for Internet Explorer. Uh, if you wanted to build a simple calendar widget in your page, it was a huge task. Now, all these things are simple now. But the complexity has shifted over where now we have a lot of choices that small business owners have to make, developers have to make. Do you build from scratch? Do you use WordPress or some other CMS? Do you use a Wix? Do you use a Squarespace or, other, or some other web builder? If you're going to implement e-commerce, are you going to use a Shopify? Are you going to go direct with a PayPal or a baby Stripe? Or do you go with a, uh, a merchant uh, provider? you know, for a large volume client, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes way beyond that. We've been, I've been looking at things like booking systems and uh, 
cross media, cross social media posting automations, email software automations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the role of a web professional, web designer, web developer has shifted as the tools that we have, whether it be web builders or CMSs or just really advanced code editors that are supported by AI. Um, the roles that we play has shifted, but the level of complexity in terms of what we provide has also increased as well. So I'm going to answer that question that people are always asking me. Is web design development going to go away? Is it going to be a point where uh, everything is going to be so easy and automated that business owners are just going to go boop and build a website? Uh, short answer is no. Maybe for dirt simple things, yeah, but they're going to be lousy. Any professional web designer or developer will tell you that there's much more to building out a successful website or web app uh, than just writing the code. There's a lot more to the implementation. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that, trust me. Far from it. So anyway, going back to the original subject of this live stream is that because of the pandemic, because people got laid off, because people started realizing that they could work from home, they kind of liked it, they started realizing that, uh, you know what, I don't need to go to a salon to be a successful hairdresser. I don't know, need to go work for a plumbing company to be a successful plumber. I could do this on my own. All I need is a website. All I need is a good social media strategy and a web design, web development strategy, if you will. And I can be independent and uh, not have to be, uh, not have to worry about a boss because the illusion that you are secure working for somebody has been revealed for what it is. It was just an illusion, right? As soon as, hit, as, soon as trouble hit, you got laid off. So the best and most secure type of job is the job that you own, right? If you are a freelance developer, whether it be front end or full stack or a social media implementer or whatever, uh, if you have many small clients, that is the best job security you could possibly have by a long shot, by a long shot. So I've been, you know, of course, I'm biased in this regard because I've been, I've been doing this since the 90s. Last time I had a job working for somebody, I was a bouncer in a nightclub. So a long time ago. So that's pretty much the uh, nuts and bolts of the uh, of you know this topic. So I'm going to do a little Q and A, but let me just uh, turn up the lights just a little bit. Hold on a second. There we go. Getting a little dark. All right. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I have a bit of a new setup here. So I uh, got rid of my old cinema camera, and now I'm using, uh, well, it's another cinema camera, but it's better suited to what I'm doing here. So I hope the sound is good. I hope the, the video looks good. Um, I'm pretty happy with this new setup. So let's just jump into some of the questions. She's going on. Uh... <laughs> Lord of the Deaths. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Sounds good, good. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Kevin from Florida. How you doing, man? I hope work is good for you. I saw those uh, I saw those video interviews of you on the news. That was cool. Uh, I'm from Peru. Ah, I've been to Iquitos. Uh, is it possible for me to get into remote e EU job? If your English is, is, well, whatever country you happen to be targeting, if you're able to communicate well in that language, then yeah, that's very possible. Uh, and it's even more possible now because COVID has uh, made it more palatable for a lot of people to uh, uh, to accept remote work. Hey, Steph, glad you're back. Without your streams, I've been stuck. T tutorial hell, learning Ruby from scratch. Help. <laughs> no, Ruby. No, 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 no. Uh, no, Ruby's good, you know, if there's jobs. Again, I always tell people, uh, you want to get out of tutorial hell as quickly as possible. That's why my courses, we teach, I call them the fundamentals, but it really takes you to an intermediate level, and then you're going to build real things. That's where you do most of the learning as a developer is doing the real thing. So just do the real thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please, do give the, the thumbs up. I appreciate always the thumbs for the video streams. It's good. Uh, how much are how many people? 126. Yeah, if you can 
add some thumbs. I would appreciate it. It's good for the Google algorithms. Ah, uh, yeah, finally another stream. I'm back. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks. Eh? I recognize you've got our old gang. Got the old guy. Hey, Stefan, what do you mean exactly using boom? Is it good or bad thing? Boom is very good, meaning a huge surge in demand as we have more and more people jumping into uh, small businesses and they're going to need websites, they're going to need web services. I think it's going to be a golden time for freelancers or any type of web development, whether you freelance or work for somebody. That's what I mean by boom. So it's a good thing. Uh, it means there will be a lot more opportunities for web developers and web designers. 100%. Yeah, I, I really uh, see that coming. Uh, I have a background not just in software. It's, it's actually my background is much more, well, much more. I, I was, I'm in business first and then software. I learned to write code for my business. So I didn't, uh, I'm an entrepreneur slash developer, not developer, entrepreneur. Uh, going back, uh, what are the advanced concepts that I should learn in JavaScript? Well, depends on the type of JavaScript you're going to be doing. You just want to get, you just want to understand the language. You want to understand how it process, is processed in the browser, how it's processed in uh, on the server. While server side is secondary importance, unless you get into Node. So. Uh, any decent course on JavaScript should teach you that. Understand the DOM, D-O-M scripting. You understand the object model there and how to do XML, HTTP requests, which are the AJAX stuff, which is uh, the foundation of modern web application development. You got that, and I think you're pretty good to go. Um, hey, Rog, say, hey, Uncle Steph, do you speak French? Oui, je parle français. Je parle français parce que je suis euh, en le parti de français de, de Canada. Je, je vis en Québec. Euh, mon français n'est pas parfait parce que c'est pas souvent que je, je le parle. So I said I live, I speak French because I live in French Canada, but my French, spoken French, is rusty. I don't speak it too often. Uh, Web dev is easy for a static page, but anything dynamic is very difficult. Even WordPress or we has challenges. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. Greg says, so I'm kind of confused here. I applied for top toe WordPress developer role and was told to learn PHP. So my question, is it possible to use PHP for back end and front end? No, PHP is back end exclusively. Uh, but PHP is what WordPress is made with. PHP, WordPress is a PHP application. So that's, uh, that's a story there. So yeah, I, I, as I tell people, I've been telling people for years, PHP is like um, super important, especially in the freelance space. You gotta learn PHP. Let me just move my light a little bit, hold on. Hold on. Get my nerves. There we go, I should help. There we go, that's better. Mike was giving me too much of a shadow. All right. Here we go. Uh, I got a market watch alert yesterday. It said something like 30% of all Americans are considering quitting their jobs this year. There you go, Dan. That's exactly it. Um, a lot of people are starting to think, hmm, this remote work thing is possible. And more importantly, a lot of uh, prospective employers are thinking, yeah, remote workers, that's also possible as well. So we'll see what happens. I'm a big proponent of entrepreneurship and freelancing is the easiest way to get become an entrepreneur. And it's the first level of business I would get into. It teaches a lot. And uh, the opportunities for that are pretty, pretty serious nowadays. Uh, hola, hola. Hello, Stefan. Kepanyana, the tendencia sin indico como afecto a los desarrolladores. As Spanish, I do not speak it. I could read, I can understand like a third of what you wrote. Sorry, guy, I don't speak Spanish. Try again. Professional audio video, Stefan. Ah, great, appreciate it. Cool. That's what we're working on here. Hey, and Anissa, the queen, how are you? Welcome back. To, welcome to the stream. Make sure Steph looking pro fresh. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. 
I got to address my age, you know. Uh, Morocco, hello, hello, my first in a while, missed you. Ah, I appreciate that. It's my first stream in a while. So I've been uh, a little busy these days and other things. Uh, uh, Andrew from Dundee, Florida. Very good. Worked in Lakeland, Florida sometimes. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, if things go according to plan, depending on the situation with COVID, I plan on actually spending a few months in Florida this year. I'm going to be driving around looking around, see what part of Florida I like. I spent uh, time in Fort Lauderdale, in Miami. Um, I'm going to be heading over to those places again, uh, Boca Raton, up to Tampa. So that's the plan. I'll be taking the show on the road. Kevin, I'm building WordPress site with Elementor. So much of it is drag and drop, but I still find myself injecting HTML CSS here and there. Learn the basic, y'all. Exactly. Yeah, it, the basics are everything. Elementor is a challenge. I, we were looking at it. It's not a trivial thing to know. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Wix is another option. St. Kitts. Enjoy. I appreciate that. Thanks, Gregory. Uh, thinking about a move to Canada to get into web development, does that, web, is, does that make sense from the Bahamas? I'm also in your mentoring program. Hey, Berlin. Yeah, that could make sense, you know. It's um, if you move to French Canada, which is Quebec, you have to know French. Otherwise, English is fine. But why not get the process going? Uh, thanks for joining the mentoring program. Anissa says, got to get into your classes. Just been going through a lot, you know, life happening. Uh, no worries, dude. Uh, no worries. Uh, Anissa, the situation is such that... Uh, you can learn as you as you as you can, you know. Learn as you can. Learn at your speed. Modern day education is all about um, uh, self paced learning. Self paced learning. That's the way to go. So don't worry about it. Doesn't matter if you, you start today or you start next week or you started six months ago. It doesn't matter. Just you know, just, just try to do a little bit every day, and you start making uh, progress. I appreciate the thumbs up, everybody. How we doing? All right. Decent group today. Uh, welcome back. Missed you. Hey, thanks. Thanks for. I recognize uh, we got our we got our core group. I also noticed I do better when you in vid versus others. Uh, very excellent teacher. Any tips for my SQL? Painful, not my fab. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, database design. So my SQL is is the most popular relational database. Uh, relational database is a type of database, a style database, kind of like a sports car is a style or type of car, and a, a Jeep is a type of car or vehicle. Um, so yeah, MySQL, uh, my suggestion is just to learn CRUD, build your basic database tables, learn the basics of, um, you know, of normalization of your tables, of your database, and just learn about foreign keys and um, uh, primary keys, and just take it from there, and just start building up simple, uh, simple database structures. It's got to be learned. What about mobile developing? Um, I've been saying for quite a while now, uh, Quadra, that um, for mobile, the web is going to be the predominant method in which people are going to implement their mobile presence through responsive design, through PWA. So it all sort of comes together. Uh, here we go. Austin says, uh, self-taught and just got my first developer job with a Fortune 500 company. Hey, congratulations, dude. Uh, thanks for your advice, Uncle Steph. No, no problem. Congrats. Good job. All right. Give Austin a thumbs up, good man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's going on? Do you think software development will get more competitive? Well, eventually, but I think uh, all the data I've seen is that the uh, number of new jobs available in software development is outpacing the number of new people getting into the game. So the demand relative to supply, the demand for workers in software development relative to supply of workers 
is uh, is outstripping supply. So it just means big plus positives for software development. Again, if you learn your fun your fundamentals well, you learn some decent soft skills, and uh, you learn which means communication and so forth. Uh, you'll be able to score jobs and, and and make very good money. So I wouldn't be too concerned. One more thing. What exactly is JavaScript Salesforce? Ah, is JavaScript Salesforce? I don't know. I don't know. Is that like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> is that something from Salesforce? Manchester. Hey, how are you? Hey, Hamza, how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I hope, I hope you're well. I hope you're well. I've just been super busy. Kitchen renovations. Um, all kinds of other stuff as well. So, yeah, jQuery 2021. Eh, it's, I don't think it's going to make a big comeback, but um, it's still used. I see it in my day job. I'm a senior business banker for a major U.S. bank, and I see the shift. That's why I'm shifting careers. Ah, very good. So there you go. Yeah, see, I uh, I always look at the uh, economic situation, or if you will, the, the business situation out there, and I make my assessments vis-a-vis -vis technology choices based on what I see. Um, I'm always weighing the reality out there in the real world of business. And then based on that, I, I make suggestions to you guys about how to pursue, what to pursue in terms of technology. I'm not nerd-centric in my, uh, my view of the technology choices and so forth. So many people, just about everybody else, they kind of try, they always evaluate things in terms of what they think is the better tech technically. And there's some debate in that area where I always look at, okay, where's the, the demand? Where's the market today? Where's it going? What does that mean in terms of where the, uh, the demand is going to be in terms of skill sets and so forth? So that's how I look at things. So, yeah, there you go. Confirmation. I wish I could speak French. Uh, after so long, I'm, take, I'm talking in your, your live stream. Yeah, very good. Uh, which languages do you think are picking up. The usual ones are dominant, and I don't think they'll ever be displaced. So you have JavaScript. In the top three is JavaScript, Java, Python. And then in the top 10, you got PHP, you got C Sharp, you got C, C++, um, off the top of my head. Uh, these are consistently in the top 10, top 5. They're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. In fact, like Python's made some major, uh, in terms of popularity and uses, has really jumped up a lot. JavaScript in the last few years have jumped up a lot. And these are languages that are 25, 30 years old, you know. So um, I don't see any of the new languages that have come out. I don't see them uh, to be significantly better or, or, or they're not significantly better enough to displace the ones who are in these top positions. It takes a lot to displace an established technology. So, yeah. Hey, Brent, bonjour from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, Uncle Steph, great to see you back. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Appreciate it. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's the official salute. Uh, I've forgotten what you used to say. Ruby is your favorite language, right? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Steph, do you believe? Do I believe? In what? Uncle Steph, I wanted to know what kind of project to build when trying to get into the tech space. You want to build projects that are of interest in terms of the type of job or the employer you're going to work for. So if you want to work for a company that does a lot of WordPress work, you want to build WordPress projects. If you want to work for a company that's doing Python Django work, do Python Django projects. You get the idea. Um, after you learn your fundamentals, as I teach, I'm actually updating my courses and calling the pro courses. I've released HTML5 Pro, which is part of my bundles. Um, once you get past my fundamental courses slash pro courses, you get what I call the nerd eyes. You have the ability to discern the environment around you in terms of technology. And what you do, once you have your nerd eyes, once you have that ability to understand the landscape, 
you look around out there and you look at what's in demand in your area, because different areas, different parts of the world have different technologies that are favored over others. For example, I hear Germany, .NET, C Sharp is very popular. And I know that Ruby is not popular anywhere except, no, okay, I'm just joking. Ruby, I think, is still popular in um, West Coast U.S., but I'm not sure about that. But you get the idea, all joking aside. So once you, you're able to assess these, these things, you can decide, okay, where's the, the demand in my part of the world, number one, and number two, what kind of work I like to do. That's my suggestion for you guys. Uh, any good advice on PSD to HTML to CSS? Have you learned, heard of about Avacode? Is there any good alternatives? On PST to HTML to CSS, uh, you mean converters. Are you talking about building a layout in Photoshop and then having it convert to a website? Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at those type of tools in years. Um, you just have to try them out, see what's going on, you know. At any rate, those tools will never replace uh, the need to understand HTML, CSS, and a little JavaScript. Uh, what's going on? SAS, monster single CSS file or single CSS file for each HTML page. No, 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 no. It, um, it's one CSS file. It depends on the project, really, you know. If you have CSS that is specific only to one page and, and only to that one page forevermore, then I would just have the CSS in that page, which is typically something you don't do. Otherwise, I would have a global CSS. You may have, if you've got a really complex site, you may have CSS files, for, one for layout, one for textiles, et cetera, et cetera. So you may want to do it that way. There's so many ways to... Uh, configure that. Uh, what's going on? Great to hear your thoughts on the industry booming. Do you think focusing primarily on Shopify development is a good move or too much of a niche? No, Shopify is fine. Uh, it's, it's, not a, um, it's not a binary in the sense that, let's say you decide for now to concentrate on Shopify and after two years or three years you, you get tired of it or or Shopify demand is not there, for you to pivot to something else won't be difficult. So it's, it's not it's little either or, you know. All right, I'm going to cover, I'm going to do what I used to do all the time. I'm going to do my books of the day. So I've still got the older ones, but I'll, I'll be advancing. So I don't know if I can get you on this here. Uh, okay, this is my book, first book. It's called Naked Ape. It's a book I highly recommend, link below, Naked Ape. Zoologists study humans as they would apes, and it's fascinating. I read this when I was quite a young guy, and it will change your perception of how we are as humans. So, Naked Ape, book number one. If you're totally new to web design development, web design start here. Link below. You know, point, points to me because it's my book, Stefan Mischuk. There's a great beginner's book. I wrote this several years ago, but I designed it to be evergreen, meaning everything in here is 100% relevant and up to date. So web design start here. Very good reviews, almost all five stars on Amazon, in bookstores probably still. You might be able to find them. If you're already a developer and you want to really level up your game and get out of tutorial hell, there's a book I recommend, Refactoring. Uh, links below, refactoring is a process of cleaning up code, making it better, more efficient. So refactoring, I recommend, this is the Java version, it's also a JavaScript version. I recommend, these are universal principles by, principles, by the way, that apply to any type of uh, development. So, And finally, if you want to get into higher level uh, architectural, if you will, in terms of business, this is a great book, Business Model Generation. Uh, you want to take a look at that. It will help you to start working on your entrepreneurial muscles in your head. So that's it, Business Model Generation. Very cool. All right, those are my books for today. Uh, uh, what's going on here? Uh, Mark Abney says, a client offers check instead of bank transfer payment. I'm freelancing. Is this a good idea? My first gig, by the way. Well, you should um, 
make sure to check clears before you deliver the work, you know, or you can shut down the site. So, yeah, as long as, you know, if you've done my freelance course, you know how I, I set up the, the payment structures, the 33 split, which will protect you. So if you set that up properly, whether they pay you by check or money transfer is irrelevant. The only downside with the checks, you got to wait a few more days. Big deal. So there you go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So just you know, so I'm using my MacBook Air. It's uh, the M1 with the new M1 chip, which is a game-changing chip. So now I'm able to stream like this with my little laptop. This tiny little thing. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Good for, for programming as well, by the way. It's very powerful. Uh, Steph, when will I be famous? Um, in about three and a half years. Uh, I'm only a junior dev still learning. Uh, would that make it more difficult to find work? No, I think... Uh, no. Why, why would it be more? Well, no, no more difficult than anything else, you know. So, no, you're good. Uh, I'm doing good, Om Mahavan. I hope you are doing well as well. All right, Benny. Hi, I'm Benny from Indonesia. Ah, very cool. A lecturer. I teach programming languages using Golang in web programming. Shall I teach PHP or keep using Golang? Um, the principles that all that matter, right? If once your students learn Golang, they'll be able to pivot to PHP or where, whatever other language um, is in demand. So if you're teaching students who are going to be working in Indonesia, what I would do is I'd find out what the, what the demand is for in, in Indonesia. So if there's a lot of demand for PHP, then I would pivot to PHP. If there's a lot of demand for JavaScript in Indonesia, I would pivot to JavaScript as an example. That would be my uh, advice. I was designing curriculum. Uh, you're going to be in the South down here with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be heading down South. Um, I'll be heading down South, uh, what is it, November, mid to late November. Nicole, please enable Studio website in India. Is it down again? Yeah, unfortunately, my provider has been, they put up the block on India again. Okay, I'll have to look into that. My apology. Yeah, I use a VPS that's fully managed, and uh, I guess they've been getting a lot of uh, attacks. So they blocked off a whole bunch of countries. So I'm going to have to check into that. Steph, have you played Infamous on PS3? No, I don't, have not played Infamous. With my friends, we play uh, Call of Duty a lot and Battlefield. That's what we do. Django versus Node. Depends on the project. Depends on the project, you know. Uh, they both, all the modern frameworks, Django, Node Express, um, PHP Laravel, C -sharp, C -sharp .net, Java Spring, they've all produced uh, very successful apps. So I wouldn't be so concerned. So I had a super chat. Let me just get to it here. Uh, all right, thanks for the super chat. All right, I got a coffee. Almost got a coffee. I like Lizard Wizard better than MySQL. <laughs> Cheers. This I, I uh, borrowed this salute from Star Trek. This is the original Vulcan salute was live long and prosper. I've changed it to code long and profit. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, official channel salute. Let's see, let me scroll back up, sorry. Ah. Very cool, cool, yeah. What site says, all right, easier, way easier to freelance now. There were no CMS platforms to use back in the day. My first site I used front page. Wow, it's going way back. Then I had to learn HTML. There, there you go. <laughs> Rajan says, good morning, Steph. Just came back from a three kilometer run after getting up. Hey, cool, man. It's important to stay in shape. I try to at least walk 10,000 steps a day. Uh, yeah, 
very important that you stay in shape. So good job. What better way to follow up with some Steffi wisdom? <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yeah, good, good, good on the run there. It's good, good for you there. Uh, Steph, do you know Frenzo Harami? No, I do not know Frenzo Harami. Maybe I do, but I forget right now. Any tips for imposter syndrome? Do you re recommend Webflow over WordPress? Ah, um, two different use cases. In some situations, WordPress might be better. Other situations, Webflow might be better. WordPress has a huge ecosystem of plugins and uh, fancy themes and so forth. That might be better for your project, whereas there's a bit more, you could argue it's more from scratch, I suppose, with Webflow. Imposter syndrome, it gets beat by just building projects. Start building little projects. As you complete each project, as you go through the game, you will um, get better and better in terms of your imposter syndrome. Mm. How are we doing? All right, 36 minutes. Ah... Uh, what do you think about the no-code trend? How does it affect web developers? It's just a, a way to speed up development for small projects, maybe prototyping. I wouldn't be so concerned. No code is nothing new. I'm sure they're a little bit more refined. Uh, you have kids. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do you think everyone will be using WordPress for web development in the future? I don't think everyone will, that's for sure. I think a significant number of people will. WordPress is by far the most popular content management system in the world today. So, yeah. Uh, the Geek Viking. Steph, do you know any events in Montreal where I can come up and meet up with other devs? Thanks for the amazing courses. No, I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what, what um, developer events there are in Montreal at this point. I couldn't say. Sorry, dude. My friends at um, Paper Education, they used to do events. Uh, I'm not sure it was so much development for maybe for startups, though. I don't know if they still do them now because they're like a rocket ship. They're exploding in terms of uh, uh, their success. Uh Louise, hey, how are you, man? Hey, Steph, I've been given the opportunity the opportunity of going through one to two MBAs, software architecture versus machine learning. I really don't know what to choose. Any opinion of the most profitable over time? Hmm. It's really hard to say, man. It's really hard to say. My instinct would be to say machine learning is still in its infancy, and that might be something you get into. Uh, but you can't go wrong with arch software architecture as well. So, uh, Should we learn to program autonomous cars? That's a highly niche application, Omar. And I think unless you have an idea to revolutionize that, because there's still auto fully autonomous cars or... A long, long way away. Um, I would uh, say look at other things. More opportunity, but you know, who knows? I haven't looked at that market. It seems to me very specialized because how many car manufacturers are there, right? Uh, the reason I asked earlier... Oh, let me get this in this space here. The reason I asked earlier was especially in context of web dev. I'm a web dev who works primarily using Laravel, but I'm coming across more and more React jobs. Is it time to take the jump? Well, it depends. I would dabble in React maybe, see if you like it, and see where uh, the pay is like, you know? Couldn't say. Uh, chat boom like stonks. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh... Hey, Trey, how are you, man? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm from Arkansas, Arkansas, excuse me, Arkansas. Is it Arkansas or Arkansas? I think it's Arkansas. Trying to learn JavaScript to buy and flip products online. Uh, you don't need to learn JavaScript to do that unless you found some scripts that will help you with that. But uh, yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. I think Python may last like COBOL. Mr. Launch Course, yeah, I agree. Uh, Python, JavaScript, Java, 
PHP, uh, C Sharp, uh, for sure. Pablo, hi Steph. At the company I'm now, I'm now. Excuse me. Let me try that again. Hey Steph, at the company I'm now. I guess he's now at. I do technical support. Years before, I was developing new projects. This is going. Let me try it again. This is going backwards. I think I want to quit, but is it hard to get? Is it hard to get again in the developing area? I would just on the side start learning what you need to learn and start writing code again, start building. And when you can then build one to two freelance projects for people and then uh, start applying for jobs. Don't cut off your, your uh, stream of income. It's transition into it. That's what I always tell people. Chat, boom like stonks, up or like down. Boom up, up. It's a positive terminology, North American. Uh, uh, what are you using to stream? You want my streaming equipment breakdown? All right. I'm using something called Ecamm Live, which is a Mac-only product. I'm using an M1 Air Mac, brand new Mac, tiny little computer, um, 16, 16 gig of RAM. It's a powerhouse though. It's like, it's a powerhouse game changer. This is a uh, Shure SMB, SM7B microphone for podcasting. And I'm piping that into my Canon cinema camera, the C70. I just replaced my old, my C300 with this because this is better for my purposes. And that's what I'm using to stream. Uh, What advice do you give web devs to keep up with recent updates on different programming languages? I mean, how do we know what's new? I wouldn't be so concerned because the nature of development these days is people come up with all these new tech all the time. Say, hey, this is the best ever. Most don't go anywhere. So just keep your eye on it. You know, see what's going on. I'm going to, once I get back into things after the summer, I plan on doing my nerd news again where I'll just keep you up to date in terms of what's out there, give you my two cents on things. I wouldn't be super concerned about it. Just, just keep a left eye on it, you know? Uh, Stefan, how do you estimate the time of a project? Ah, that comes with practice. In my freelance course, Shameless Self-Promotion, I, I have a time tracker template where I teach you about what it is you have to track and once you've done it a few times, you've used the time tracker and you've, uh, and you've uh, tracked projects, um, your ability to judge how long a project will take will become much, much more uh, effective, much better. By the way, guys, I appreciate thumbs up. It's good for the algorithms. That would be great if you do. All right. What's going on? Hey, Uncle Steph, is it worth taking digital certificate, Google like digital marketing? This, I, my platform, Studio Web, we provide certifications and services to the public and for schools. That being said, I've been saying it for years, certifications are this, this important and experience is this important, right? Certifications, experience. So before I would run out to get certificates and certifications, I would just get small jobs, build a portfolio. That will be more important. So, but the certification doesn't hurt as well, okay? Hey, how are you, man? Long time. Greetings, no more coding today, 1.30 here, enjoying live streams. Thanks, Uncle Steph. I hey, appreciate it. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, I'm sorry, presentation. Uh, Zane says, I'm a delivery driver for Amazon while working on my web dev portfolio until I can get a job. Very cool. I don't like the current job I'm working at because of the workplace culture. What should I do? I would um, go out there and find uh, clients, do two to three free jobs for them, and then build a really good looking portfolio. Make sure it looks good. And then start a Applying for jobs like crazy or start looking for a contract work. 
whatever it is you want to do. Some people want to go freelance, some people want to get jobs. So you can transition out of the um, Amazon job. So yeah, so you're on your way. But uh, if you, I assume you know how to code and you can build stuff. You don't have to be a master. You just got to know your basics. You got to you know, put together things. And I'm sure you could start making uh, uh, more money as a web designer or slash developer or slash web professional uh, than you are currently making in a very short period of time. So which is a better way, which is better to go for in terms of freelancing and remote uh, WFH jobs? One, React Node or Python Jam? Please help me. I would just look at the, the opportunities, see where the opportunities are, see where the demand is, you know? Different areas will have different level of demand. Uh, yeah, let me, let me just back up by quickly saying, one of the reasons in my mentoring program, and one of the reasons I do it here, uh, I teach code, because coding is the easiest way and the quickest way to financial independence. Like, there's no quicker way, no easier way, right? If you, if you, Plumbing would be good, but you still got to do a lot of you got to do years of training in plumbing. At least in Canada, it's like a two, three year or four year program. Engineering, you know, uh, same thing. But web development and development in general, you could get it. You could start making money as a junior developer within a few months, depending on your situations. And within a short period of time, within a year or two, you could be making significantly more money than the average worker in your part of the world. It's the quickest way. That's why I teach it to independence. I have a super chat. Let me just jump to that. I got two super chats, right? Hold on. Why am I super? I got to learn to filter my future super chats here. Hold on, guys. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, will Fiverr destroy web development? It seems like a race to the bottom with these freelance websites and cheap labor from India. This is my main concern with web development today. Should I worry? No, I, sh I would not worry about that because language and cultural issues always figure into these things. So I think you'll be fine. Uh, let's see. I think I had another super chat. Here it is. Uh, sir, which is better to go for in terms of freelancing? Oh, we already covered that. Django, Paradox. Yeah, typically, I find freelancing PHP is the king. Not necessarily PHP Laravel, but just generally PHP is king. It's usually very dependent on your part of the world you happen to be in. Again, thanks for the, the thumbs. I appreciate it, Guy. Do you think web components is dead in 2021? I haven't, I've, I haven't heard about them, but um, I haven't been keeping up to see where, that, where that's going. I haven't, I haven't heard too much about them, so that might tell you something. Um, hey, Stephen, about this boom, I think it's grow up with startup bubble. Do you think it's good for a beginner to work as a consultant, save money, and create your own product company? Um, well, that's what I did. You know, I, I, I became skilled by building a lot of projects for other people. And then I took that experience building projects for other people to build my own projects. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, the boom I'm talking about is not to do nothing to do with the startup world. That's a different thing. It's about small business, contractors, independent workers, remote workers. It's a different thing from the startup community. Hello, hello from Canada. Welcome to stream. Uh, simplest framework to update SQL DBS. Um, I would use whatever framework is uh, ORM. You're talking about or ORMs, ORMs. It, it, I would use whatever ORM that's bound to the particular web uh, MVC framework you're going to use. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers that question. Secondly, uh, where's firstly? Okay, we got we got secondly. All right. Uh, more complex code. More complex code written, more code needs maintaining. It diverges, always diverges, which incidentally means it never converges. <laughs> it 
It must boom one day. It might even lead to another Big Bang someday. <laughs> Lovelight says, are you mixed? Am I mixed what? <laughs> uh, ask, answer. How do I explain these ultimately wasted years without, if there's ultimately no good reason? Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean. Though. you got to give me more context. Did I miss the discussion about the title? Uh, yes, I had talked about it right at the beginning. You can rewind this. I get into it within like a minute or two. Uh, Mac M1 Air are stable for web programmers. I believe so. I'm able to edit 4K video on this. It's super powerful. And other people have told me who are actively firing up uh, virtual machines and so forth, they're able to use the M1 Air quite well. So for, uh, yeah, for development, I don't see a problem with that, especially web development. Uh, uh, hi Stefan, got more social relation experience with girls more since I asked for some tips this year than all those years before 24 combined. Hi like, Stefan, got more social relationships with girls more since I asked. Hold on, let me try that again. <laughs> uh, since I asked you for some tips this year than all those years before 24 combined. Hey, congratulations. There you go. I'm a dating coach now. I teach you guys how to code. I teach you how to freelance. I teach you to start business. I teach you how to date. I teach you how to, to, to uh, become financially independent. What else do you want from me? <laughs> That's good. Congratulations, man. That's good. Uh, sir, which is better to build? Big scale app for the React? Native, do five, do five, do five. Wash hands, wash hands, do five, do five, wash hands. What the hell's going on here? Uh, oh, uh, the issue of scaling with mobile development is not on the client, right? The scaling issue is on the server. So it's the server's backend that really matters there. So that has nothing to do with uh, native coding or not, or cross-platform with Flutter, React. So it's not a scaling issue. Scaling is, is server load, right? Because when you're running a local um, a local app on uh, loaded on somebody's smart device, smart smartphone, uh, there's no scale issues there. It's just it's just you know uh, it's resource issues. So that is really dependent on the particular app in question. Does the app in question that you're thinking of developing for mobile does it require heavy duty resources? Does it require access to, I don't know, aspects of the hardware that you may not be, be able to access with uh, cross-platform solutions? So that's the issue there. I hope that answers your questions. Uh, do you see front-end web dev changing drastically anytime soon? No. I think it stabilized in about 2014, 2015. It's pretty stable. Uh, I don't see it changing anytime soon. Uh, there we go. Here's our answer. I own an M1 Mac Mini, and it's super good for web development. I also do iOS development on it as well. So there you go. Same thing. I'm telling you guys, whether you're Mac, I use Mac and Windows, and I'm telling you, this M1 Mac, this M M1 technology is a game changer. And it's not just my opinion. Uh, Microsoft announced and other manufacturers announced they're going to be catching up to Apple to develop M1-like technology. It is really quite good. Uh, yes. Oh, how do you deal with new technologies? I do not care about any. I have always built trees and used recursions. <laughs> Everything else is secondary, but no grass, build trees. <laughs> I appreciate the thumbs up, guys. Oh, another super chat. No, I already got that on. Go do it. Uncle Steph, what do you think about templates? I think using templates makes sense. Remember, if you use a framework, you're essentially using a template. You use a bootstrap, you're using a template, essentially, right? Using other people's code. A template is just other people's code in a visual format. So yeah, use templates. The only time I wouldn't use a template is if you are uh, build, you're building a profile site and you're selling yourself as a web designer who builds custom from scratch, then using somebody else's template may not make sense. But if you say, listen, I'm a, I build 
really effective, beautiful looking sites, but we use templates. Here's one I used here. Look how great it is. You know, that's fine too. How to land a good job if I live in South America? Whoa, whoa. Mm, that's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know the South American market, but I think the, the same rules apply. Level up your skills and communication and code. Hey, Arno. How are you, man? What's up, Steph? I'm about to come back to MTL from Florida. Ah, very cool. No IPA and stone crab for, a year, for, for you this year, I guess. <laughs> Let's grab a drink when I'm back in town. Yeah, that might be doable. Yeah, well, I've, I've been I've been doing the IPAs up in Montreal, but no stone crab. But yeah, yeah, well, welcome back soon to Montreal. Uh, hi, I am line cook now at age 27. I did a degree in supply chain, but not interested in commerce. Currently learning, learn CSS, Flexbox, and Grid, which certification is to put on resume apart from portfolio. Uh, yeah, just go out there and build projects, dude. Uh, and no worries, man. Keep me informed. Let me know how it goes, Zane. Patrick, how are you? I'm a senior computer science major, and I know that some of the major companies have notorious coding interviews. Do other small or mid-level companies do this as well? Depends on the company. Just do your research on the company before you go in and prepare for a particular company. Ah, uh, Sir Stefan, I'm stuck, and I like your experienced opinion. Read my last message, please, or anyone else in the chat, please. Let's see if I can find it, and then uh, post it again, Mr. Hawks Play. Post it again, because I can't. Uh, about to boom in a good way or bad way? Boom is very positive. means very good. Lots of work, a lot, like explosion of work. Explosion of work. So it's a good, it's a good. Uh, all right, how are we doing? Oh my God, it's almost an hour. So I'm going to be closing out on an hour, guys. But I appreciate good, good group tonight. 255 people. I think appreciate the thumbs up too. Uh, when do I know when I should apply for internship? When you can do basic work that the internship requires. Uh, are you a robot? Not yet, but perhaps in the future I will be. Hey, uh, Bart, I want to visit the Philippines. I used to do Filipino martial arts back in the day. Kali, Screma. Mm, good art. I don't know if you're familiar with that martial arts native to uh, the Philippines. Hey, forgot to say hello to you, Uncle Stefan. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining, Mr. Wojnowski. Uh, why is it so hard to find freelance jobs when starting out? How do you begin? Ah, look at some videos uh, in my YouTube uh, collection. I talk about that. Uh, it's normal when you're first starting out. It's a little bumpy before you get established. The way it goes, it's like this. Ah, hard time finding jobs. Okay, I got a little job. Hard time finding a job. I got a little job. Oh, sorry. Okay, I got another job. I got another job. I got so many jobs. I got to hire people. It goes that way, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I can't get a job since over a year now. I'm a full stack developer and mobile job developer and also Flutter developer. We are kind of scared to hire me in Florida. I don't know, man. Um, how are your interview skills? Are you getting interviews? Uh, if you do get interviews, when they don't hire you, do you ask them why? Maybe it's communication. Soft skills are very important when working for people. Oh, by the way, guys, what do you think of the new uh, camera? I don't know if anybody knows. Brand new camera. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, because of the new camera, it's kind of a small camera. In comparison, I can put my, I use my laptop now. A better angle. Uh, Young Black Blockchain TV. Hey, Florida man. Yeah, yeah. Should I learn front end first and back end? Yes, always start with front end. Uh, all right, let me get, I'll get to my super chat soon here. I'll go, Steph, what do you think about using templates to start your development career? Why not? That's a good idea. You learn from the templates. To start working on your first projects with templates, to do them fast. <coughs> Excuse me. 100%, good idea. I fully, um, 
endorse that strategy. Super Chat, 10 from Zayn. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm going to have some good coffee tomorrow. Super Chat coffee is always the best to coffee. Uh, is Laravel in demand now? I believe so. I believe so. Uh, hi, Stefan. What is better to learn for working in a company, PHP or Node.js? Depends on what part of the world you happen to be in. Look at the local job listings. Go to Indeed.com. Go search your part of the world and see what the job listings are. Do a little research. It's all dependent. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. About to start web design development. Do I, does it really worth it? Yes. It's a superpower, dude. It's going to boom, meaning it's going to be very, very, very good. It's going to be a lot of opportunity. Trust me on that one. It's, hey, I love your live streams. I appreciate that, Mitch. Thanks. Do you have a mentor program? Or do I do have some of your courses? Plus, I've taken some online classes. Junior out of Tor, also a new program. Yeah, a mentoring program. I do have a mentoring program. Look below. Link is below. It's a pretty cool mentoring program. I think uh, besides having access to all my material and all kinds of material that's not available to the public, you also have access to our mentoring coach, our coach set, coaching sessions bi-weekly, which are very cool in a private forum. Uh, we record those sessions, so you get hours and hours of uh, Q&A with me and uh, people in the group. And we got all kinds of other benefits as well. I'll be expanding that mentoring program quite a bit this uh, this fall for sure. I have a lot of fun with that. It's a good group. So when I started that about a year ago, I did, one thing happened. I did not expect the community uh, has and the private uh, coaching sessions, the mentoring coaching sessions, group sessions coaching. They're extremely valuable. Because uh, we have people of all different levels. We have people who are very experienced developers there, people who are just starting out, and everybody in between, people who've got jobs, people who are um, actively doing freelance jobs and work. So people participate. We have our regular crew, and then other people who jump in and out. So it's very cool. Uh, starting your morning with your live stream will make my day 100 times productive. Hey, very cool. I'm glad I could help. Good job. Uh, which boot camp would you recommend to take as a developer in Vancouver, Canada? I would say do my boot camp. I'm very biased, but I hear that my boot camp is the best boot camp. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> I do. Um, on guy says, hi, Steph. I just started your course. Hey, thanks for picking up. Uh, finished basic HTML basics today. Good job. Started CSS tomorrow. Thanks for all the great advice you give in your courses. My name is Joe. Well, welcome to the welcome to the stream, Joe, and glad you enjoy the courses. Thanks for letting me know. Is Node.js still relevant? It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. All right. It's one hour, so I'm gonna have to be closing up. So closing up the stream. Hello, Steph Hello, Stefan. Live from Miami. Yeah, very cool, man. Like Miami, I used, to, I used to rent condos down in uh, Sobe on the ocean. Spend a month or two there. I'm heading back down. I'm heading back down. Miami is one of the places I'm going to go for sure. Uh, do you know Cali sticks are derived from Filipino knife fighting? Yeah, for sure. Uh, without a doubt. Uh... SJ says, Stefan Mischik, I learned more from you than I ever did in college. Yeah, I'm glad I could, thanks. Uh, glad I could help, rather. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks. Mentorship next. You must must finish full stack now. Blasted MySQL. Hey, very cool. Good. Congratulations, dude. Good stuff. Uh, will you do another live? Yes, I'm going to. I used to do lives on a regular basis. I just took a break. I plan on doing uh, many more lives. Um, I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be, though. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but you guys start seeing content flow again. I've just been super busy. Um, yeah. Hey, Stefan, you are one of my you are one of my motivation. Can can you make a shout out on me? 
Shout out to self-taught programmer. Uh, all right. Okay, guys and girls. Uh, I am going to let you guys go. It's been over an hour. Let's see what's going on. Uncle Steph, when is your best boca in the live stream game? Merch line coming out. Printing money. <laughs> That's true. I do have the best boca game in the live stream game. Like nobody else. Look at this. Look at the color dynamics. It's unbelievable. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, all joking aside, thanks for joining the stream. I'm. Uh, <laughs> is the blurry background intentional? Yes, it is. This blurry background. Oops. This blurry background is called boca in the. Uh, a filmmaker Parlance. Parlance, this is called the Boca. It's all blurry. See, even my hand goes, this is reverse below Boca. My hand is now blurry. I work very hard. It cost me a fortune to do that. Um, all right. We'll talk soon. Thanks for joining the stream. And um, yeah, that's about it for now. Hey, Matthew, how are you, my dude? I'm just closing off. It's been an hour. We'll talk. Ciao.